I can't believe this is the last time I'm going to set up the board for my dream puzzle. I can't believe this is the last time I'm going to put together the edge of my dream puzzle. I can't believe this is the last time I'm going to dump out all of the pieces of my dream puzzle. Oh my God, I'm so happy. I'm so happy to be back at it. I love this puzzle so much. <laughs> This is wild. I can't believe I made it to the end. This is section four, the final section, the final countdown, if you will. There's so much pressure now because so many people are watching and have been waiting for this video. Today is July 16th. I know that it's been a little while since the last section, but as I said in the last video, this is just such a huge project every time that I just need to take a little bit of a break to like reset and get excited about the puzzle again. I just spent the last few weeks working my other job, which is making DIY videos for HGTV. So now that I'm done with that batch, I am so ready to get back to a giant puzzle. I've been studying the image, so let's take a closer look at what we're gonna be tackling and see what the game plan is. So looking at the final image, I think this is simultaneously going to be one of the easiest sections and one of the hardest sections. So as you saw from the last section, the sailboats were no problem at all. Really easy because you have a lot of very distinct colors. This beach ball should be super easy. I am a little worried about all of this water because if you remember, from the previous section. All of this took me like hours and hours to do and we have pretty much the same amount in this section as well. So I think that'll be very tricky. Looking at the sky, um, this time the sky is pretty much broken in half. So we have all of these pink pieces and then all of the darker pieces. So I think that'll make it easier because each section is not quite as big. We also have a lot of planets going on, like a lot of distinct things that break up just endless star pieces, so I don't think the sky is going to be too hard. But then coming down to underwater, you know, we have this tower of coral, we have a few distinct fish over here, should be easy enough. And then we just have all of this, which is all like the same color blue when it's blown up as big as this puzzle is, it all kind of looks like the same texture. So I have heard from other people who have done this puzzle that this is easily the most difficult part of the entire thing. But you know, we'll get there when we get there. For now, I'm obviously gonna start with the more colorful sections and I think that part is gonna be super, super fun. All right, well, I think it's time to just get right into it, to get started with the sorting. My goal for today is to finish the sorting because it's only like 9.30 in the morning right now, so I have all day. So I'm gonna finish the sorting, hopefully finish the edge, and then we'll just kind of see where we are. All right, time to sort for the last time on my dream puzzle. <laughs> oh no, I like almost don't even wanna do it because I just want to extend the experience as long as I can. <laughs> no, okay, no, we're doing it. We're doing it, we're doing it, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. We're doing it.
so it is about 4 45 i worked on and off on the sorting all day and i just finished it i was planning on doing the edge today but i am just so tired i always forget how much the sorting like takes out of me so i'm gonna call it for the day tomorrow i'll walk you through everything that i sorted them into and i will actually get started working on the puzzle Ooh, tomorrow's gonna be so fun good morning everybody and welcome back to the puzzle so it is actually sunday morning um I took all of yesterday off because I just, I had a headache. I was just not feeling well. There's this tweet that I cannot find, but it says something like, if you don't take rest days, your body will decide for you when to take rest days. And that's what happened yesterday. I haven't taken a full day off in like months. So yesterday I did nothing productive. It was so great. It was exactly what I needed, but today I am back. So let's talk about the puzzle. So in total, the sorting took four hours and 10 minutes, which is actually a little bit less than the previous two sections, which I was surprised about because it felt like it was going on forever. But I can't believe I've done a big sort of this many pieces for the last time. I mean, at least until the next giant puzzle that I do. So let me walk you through it. Let me show you what we're working with. Obviously, first we have all of the edge pieces. Then we have all of the sailboats. So these are both all of the colorful pieces and all of the white sails and the boats themselves. That's quite a lot of pieces. I didn't really realize how much of the puzzle that was. Over here, we have all of the planets and anything that is like mostly sky, but with a little bit of something. Coming up here, this box has so many pieces in it. I will need to separate all of these, but these are the blue underwater pieces. These are the uh, underwater dolphins, and then these are the colorful underwater pieces. Moving over to this box, we have all of the sky pieces, which is actually more than I thought there were, but you know, it should be okay. Over here, we have all of the pink sky pieces. So pretty, I love these colors. And then here we have all of the uh, water pieces. Then we have the water line. We have um, the dolphin and the jumping swordfish. Those are all kind of mixed together. And we have some pieces that I think might be the blue planet. Um, not all of those are this planet, but I'll fill in the planet and then the rest are probably underwater pieces. And this is the dolphin and the jumping fish that I just said were mixed together. I will say, even though it felt like it was taking forever, the sorting was relatively easy this time because there are so many different textures that are pretty easy to spot, especially the pink pieces. You know, I could just grab those really quickly. They're very distinct. But the flip side to that is that we do have a ton of pieces that are all basically the same textures. So I really do think this is going to be a very difficult puzzle, much more difficult than the other sections. But enough talking, let's do some actual puzzling. Let's get started on the edge.
You guys, look for the first time in the entire puzzle, I have a complete edge. I have all four edges to work off of. <laughs> I know I've been talking about how this is gonna be so difficult, but having this extra edge will definitely make it a little easier. Doing the edge took about 25 minutes, but I was also moving the camera around quite a bit, so maybe a little less than that. So the edge was not a problem at all. Uh, the first thing I'm gonna work on now is all of the sailboats. I just had a snack, I just had a stretch, so I am ready to spend the next couple hours tackling all of these pieces. It is about 10 a.m. now, so I'm hoping that I could finish this section, and then we'll just see where we are this afternoon. Oh man, that was a marathon puzzling session. That was three and a half hours nonstop. It is almost two o'clock, so I should probably have lunch. But I think it's looking really good. I'm really happy with how much of the sailboats I got done. So after lunch, I think I'm going to start working on some of these um, planets up in the sky. All right, it is 5.45, so this has been a full day of nonstop puzzling, but let me show you where we're at. So there is my one day progress, and I am really happy with that. I got so much done. Obviously, all of the sailboats that I showed you before, I got all of the planets put together, although they're not all placed correctly yet. 
Um, I got a lot of the water done, this water line at the top. I got the bottom water line done and I got the dolphin and this flying fish done. This guy was probably the trickiest section so far, but I got there in the end. I'm only missing a few pieces in the middle there. As I thought, the easy parts of this puzzle are very easy, so I'm making a lot of progress. I'm definitely intimidated by the harder parts, like all of this water to fill in all of this. Oh my gosh, it's going to be so hard, but I will think about that uh, tomorrow. You guys, what is wrong with me? It is only 8 a.m. and I've already spent a half hour this morning working on the puzzle. Let me show you. So I decided that I wanted to work on some of the colorful underwater sections. So you might remember all of the colorful pieces that had been in the box. I took those out and I sorted through them so that I could separate out the different fish. So that's what I'm going to work on this morning. I also, of course, found all of these pieces that go up at the top of the puzzle. It is always so satisfying to put those in. So today I'm going to try to get all of this finished, all of the fish and this tower of coral. And then I was hoping to get some of the pink pieces done. We'll see how long all of this takes. Um, yeah, we'll see. Should be fun though. I'm planning to spend all day again working on it. Oh man, it is just after 12, which means that I just worked for four hours straight, but I managed to put in almost every single piece that I was working with. Usually I end up with a few, you know, little stragglers, but this time the only pieces that I didn't put in are these little fish that kind of float around on their own. All of this fully fits together. I am so proud of that. It's so beautiful. Of course, there's also a handful of pieces down here. So I think that's looking really, really good. I'm going to take a break for lunch and then I think I'll go back to the sky and start putting together these pink pieces. I think that was enough underwater for today. <laughs> Oh man, what a day. <laughs> 
I basically spent four hours straight this morning working on the underwater part of the puzzle, and then four hours straight this afternoon working on the sky. <laughs> Obviously, I didn't do the pink part of the sky. I did the um, like the stars and I realized that that part was actually a little easier because there is a lot more variation in the color and the texture, whereas um, these pink pieces are very, very similar to each other. But I think that now that I have this a little bit more mapped out, it'll be easier to fill in the pink section. So these are all of the pieces that are left for the sky. This is the box that I was just working from. Um, you can see the pieces are separated by piece type. I thought about trying to finish this box today, but I'm so tired. It's like 5.30. I've been working on this straight through since you know, basically all day. So I think I'm done for the day. Anyway, um, I'll definitely need to organize these by piece shape as well. And then we just have a handful of other pieces there that'll go in. But it's been so fun. What a great day. What a great day. I can't wait to finish this part up. Oh my God, I'm so excited to turn the air conditioning back on. It is so hot. Good morning, everybody. So today is Wednesday. I actually took yesterday off from the puzzle because I just wanted to give my back a little bit of a break. It hasn't really been bothering me this time, but I think that's because I've been taking breaks throughout because, you know, working for eight hours on a puzzle in one day is kind of a lot, but I am so excited today to spend all day once again working on the puzzle. It is just about like 9 a.m. now, and this is all that I have on the schedule today. So I definitely think that I have officially finished all of the easy parts of this puzzle. I think I'm definitely moving on to the medium parts. I'm gonna spend all morning finishing up the sky. I think that I can finish it this morning. Um, it's kind of just the same texture over this entire thing, but there is quite a bit of color differences with the different like colors of pink. So I think that I can finish it this morning. Also, I would just like to preemptively say that it is going to be a very hot day in Los Angeles today. So this apartment is going to get very hot. So if you see me changing outfits to um, compensate for that, now you know why. <laughs> All right, so I finished the sky this morning. It's looking beautiful back there. It took about uh, three hours of work, but you know what that means. 
every single piece that is left on this puzzle is now some various shade of blue. Oh my God. Oh my God. I just took a full hour off for lunch because I'm just so intimidated by the rest of this puzzle. You can see that all of the colorful parts of this puzzle are now finished and these are all of the pieces that are left. All of them. Every single one. Every single one is blue. Oh no. <laughs> it's, it's been going so fast and now I'm really going to slow down. So basically my plan for this afternoon is to just look through these boxes and put in, you know, whatever I can. I think that I can do all of these dolphins. I've already separated out a lot of those pieces. I can probably do some of this water that's all a solid color before we get down into this texture. I'm definitely missing a few pieces that have little bits of the coral on them, so I'll fill in those. And then there are some pieces up here at the top of the water that are a different texture than the majority of the water, so I should be able to fill in some of those pieces. So wish me luck. Let's get back to it. All right, everybody, it is about 4.30, so a little earlier than the other days, but I have been working so much on like the difficult parts of this puzzle that I think that's enough for today. Let me show you. So the top half of this puzzle is completely finished. All of this is fully put together. It is so satisfying to look at and to run my hands over. I am still missing three blue pieces over there, but that is it from everything above this waterline. So this afternoon I managed to do all of the dolphins and I got this, um, the bottom waterline completely finished. So now the two sections of the puzzle that are left are, you know, perfectly blocked out. So we have all of the water, that's all of these pieces here. And then we have the underwater castle village ruin. <laughs> that is all of these pieces right here. So tomorrow I'm going to do the water line, or I mean the water, and then after that, this is what I've been intimidated by. Honestly, this entire time I knew that it was coming and now it's here. It's going to be so hard. So you know how yesterday I was talking about how I had finished all of the easy parts of the puzzle and had moved on to the medium parts of the puzzle? Well, today I feel like I have finished all of the medium parts of the puzzle and now I'm moving on to all of the hard parts of the puzzle. It is Thursday the 22nd, it's about 9.30 a.m. I already had a meeting this morning for a very exciting secret project that I can't talk about, so I probably shouldn't have even brought that up. But anyway, now I'm moving on to working on the puzzle all day because that is my life now. So today's goal is to finish all of this water. It's basically broken up into two halves. And last night I already separated all of the pieces by piece shape, which is just 
what is necessary when you're doing something like this, where it's just the exact same texture over this many pieces. As I talked about in the last video, since it's the same texture that goes the entire width of the puzzle, and since the pattern, like the piece cut pattern, repeats over the two halves of the puzzle, I really, really have to be extra careful that all of the pieces, even if it seems like they fit perfectly, that they're on the correct half of the puzzle. So in the time lapse, you might see me being like, like two inches away from the puzzle, trying to look extra hard at every single little detail to make sure the pattern just you know, flows perfectly from one piece to the next. Luckily, there is a little bit of color difference. Um, this side of the water is a little more teal and that side is a little bit more blue. So I think that'll help, but yeah, I'm really anticipating this to take at least all morning, maybe all day, we'll see. <laughs> So I finished all of the water. That actually didn't take as long as I thought, only about two hours. I also found this piece, which fits in right there. And it is the final piece from the top of the puzzle. So now everything over this water line is completely finished. All that is left is the underwater village. So this is the final last box of pieces of the entire 24,000 piece puzzle. Here is what we're gonna be going for and that's how much is left. Um, I think I'm just gonna take the rest of today off from the puzzle because I'm a little puzzled out for now, but tomorrow, Tomorrow I might finish it. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm going to finish the 24,000 piece puzzle today. Oh my God, I can't believe the day is finally here. I have been wanting to do this puzzle, I mean, as you guys know, for 10 years. I can't believe that after today, I will have done it. I will have finished it. It is only like 9 a.m., so I have all day to work on it. And even though this is probably the most difficult part of the puzzle, um, it's not a huge, huge section, so I think that I can do it all in one day. So I've been thinking a lot about what my strategy is going to be, and this is a lot of pieces to, you know, from the get-go start sorting by shape. It would just be a lot to get through. So instead, I think I'm going to try to fill in whatever I can, um, you know, like these stairs, these columns, I should be able to spot. I've already started pulling the highlight on the top of this wall. That's all of these pieces here. So even though everything is the same color, there should be some texture differences, you know, that can actually help me put it together. So I guess there is nothing else to do, but get to it. I don't want this puzzle to be over. I love it so much. <laughs>
is about 11.30 and I'm definitely making progress. I just made myself stop to like have a snack and stretch out a little, but I am having so much fun with, like I wasn't expecting this last part to be so fun, but I'm really enjoying it. As you can see, I have a lot, a lot of different pieces on the board. And I mean, it's times like this when I'm really glad that I only do puzzles alone because if I was doing this with somebody else, they would have no idea what is happening. First, I started up here and I filled in this entire row, except for this one piece. Um, you can see that these little nibs are really small and that's actually where the cut repeats. So there's one here and then there's another one about another third up the puzzle. So I was able to find all of those pieces pretty easily, fill them in. Same right over here. This is the um, center line where these are kind of differently shaped from the rest of the pieces. You can see they have these little square nibs. So hopefully pretty soon I'll find more of them and I can finish this line right down here. There's also this guy, which I just attached. This is the corner of the building and all of these light pieces, I think are this statue's abs. <laughs> I've been working on his abs a little bit. So that's this section right here. And I would also just like to say for the record, now that I'm looking more closely at this, I do not appreciate that the man gets to keep his head, whereas the woman has her head on the ground and it's just a disembodied naked figure. Not a fan of that. But otherwise, it's so fun. I think, I mean, obviously the further I go, the quicker it'll go. Um, I'm definitely getting more of a hang of the different textures and I haven't felt like I needed to start separating everything by shape, but you know, maybe at some point soon, I'll start doing that, we'll see. All right, time to get back to it. I'm so excited, I love this so much. <laughs> looked at this section of the puzzle, I was so intimidated by all of this blue. And then I started looking at it a little more closely and I was like, you know what? I think it's fine. I think I've got this. And then I actually did it and um, <laughs> I was right the first time. It is 4.50. I have been working straight through since like 11.30. And this has been so hard. It's, it's fun, you know, I love puzzles, so it's really fun for me, but it is so tricky. Everything looks exactly the same, but all of the pieces that are left officially now fit on these two sheets of paper. I am entirely done with the puzzle boxes and everything underneath here, I can't really pick them up, but everything underneath here is completely finished. So all that's left is this section of the puzzle. I really was not sure if I was going to finish it today and I was, you know, preparing to film this and be like, I tried my best, but I just couldn't do it. But I really think that it's starting to pick up and as I get more of these pieces in, it'll just go a lot faster. So I have dinner plans tonight. So I have one more hour to work on this. Let's see if I can finish it. <laughs> I have changed my mind. I've decided that even though I probably could finish it today, I'm going to wait until tomorrow because 
I've just been wanting to do this puzzle for so long that I don't want to rush through the last little bit of it. I want to fully enjoy it and, you know, fully document it for all of you. So yeah, that's where I'm gonna leave it today. Those are all of the pieces that are left and all that is left is that much of the puzzle. So I really don't think it's gonna take all that long tomorrow. So I need to rest my back. I am definitely hurting today and I will be back tomorrow to finish the puzzle. So even though I didn't finish the puzzle yesterday, I realized that yesterday was my last full day of working on the puzzle, which is really sad. It's basically done. It is about 11 a.m. right now. Um, I got a little bit of a slow start this morning, but I really don't think that finishing this up is going to take more than like half an hour. So yeah, I guess it's time, time to finish the 24,000 piece puzzle for real this time, not like yesterday morning when I was sure that I was going to finish it and then I didn't. <laughs> Okay, well, that didn't take me half an hour. It took me an hour, but I am down to the last 35 pieces. This is it. This, this is the end. We're doing it. Once you have this few pieces left, they just go in one right after the other. So like five more minutes and then the puzzle's gonna be done. Oh my God. Oh my God. You guys, this is it. This is it. This is it. The last piece. Oh my God, I don't even want to do it. <laughs> oh my gosh. I can't believe I finished it. I can't believe I finished, I finished it. I finished the 24,000 piece puzzle. It's done. It is finished. Oh my God, <laughs> what am I gonna do now? <laughs> Wow, I really cannot believe that it's over. I feel like this is such a journey that we have all been on together. So I know that all of you have been waiting very patiently to see all four sections put together, to see the entire 24,000 piece puzzle all in one piece. But I mean, as you can tell from the videos, I do not have that much space in my apartment. I have just enough space to do like the 6,000 piece portion. So instead, here's what I'm gonna do. I am going to my friend's studio space where he has tons of room and that's where I'm going to put all of the different sections together but that's going to happen in a separate video. That will be the grand reveal. Trust me, it will be worth it. So just hang tight and very soon we will see the entire thing all together. It's like 14 feet long, I cannot wait. But anyway, back to this section. 
You do not know how happy I am that no pieces were missing in the end, especially after in the first two sections, we had that one piece from the second section that was mixed into the first bag. I was so worried that that meant there would be issues all the way through, but I finished it and we have every single piece. So what a weight off of my shoulders. And now this is the part of the video where I would normally share all of the statistics, all of my final times, but again, <laughs> I think I'm gonna wait until the final grand reveal video to show you all of the statistics across the entire puzzle. But I will show you this little visualization of all of the blocks of time that I worked on it. I think that's just really interesting to look at. And I will reveal that in total, it took me slightly less time than section three, which I was so surprised about because I really thought all of this blue down here was really gonna slow me down. I thought this was gonna be easily the one that took the longest, but it didn't. So <laughs> there we go. <laughs> and in the meantime, here's what I want from you. I would love it if you could leave any questions that you have for me down in the comments and I will answer them in that final video. So these could be questions about this puzzle in particular, just about doing big puzzles in general. Any questions that you have, this is your chance to ask them. So just like in the previous few videos, I actually already taped this puzzle together. There we go, you can see that it is nice and taped. And this is how I'll transport all of the pieces to my friend's studio so that I can put the whole thing together. Oh my gosh, there it is. That is the entire 24,000 piece puzzle. Like, do you remember how big those puzzle piece bags were initially? And now it's like less than half the size of this giant box. That is so wild. Oh man, I'm so excited to put the entire thing together. So if you have watched all the way to the end of this very long video, your code word for the comments will be the theme of this entire section, which is blue. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the grand reveal, and I will see you all in the next one.